16.1.2 digestive glands the digestive glands associated with the alimentary canal include the salivary gland the liver and the pancreas saliva is mainly produced by three parts of salivary glands the parotids the submaxillary submandibular and the sublinguals these glands situated just outside the buccal cavity secrete salivary juice into the buccal cavity liver is the largest gland of the body weighing about 1.2 to 1.5 kg in an adult human it is situated in the abdominal cavity just below the diaphragm and has two lobes the hepatic lobules are the structural and functional unit of liver containing hepatic cell arranged in the form of cords each lobule is covered by a thin connective tissue sheath called the glycens capsule the bile secreted by hepatic cell passes through the hepatic duct and is stored and concentrated in this thin muscular sac called the gall bladder the duct of gall bladder along with the hepatic duct from the liver forms the common bile duct the bile duct and the pancreatic duct open together into the duodenum as the common hepatopancreatic duct which is guarded by a sphincter called the sphincter of odile the pancreas is a compound elongated organ situated between limbs of c shaped duodenum the exocrine portion secrete an alkaline pancreatic juice containing enzymes and the endocrine portion secrete hormones insulin and glucagon digestion of food the process of digestion is accomplished by mechanical and chemical processes the buccal cavity performs two major functions the mastication of food and facilitation of swallowing the teeth and the tongue with the help of saliva masticate and mix up the food thoroughly mucus in saliva helps in lubricating and adhering the masticated food particles into a bolus the bolus is then conveyed into pharynx and then into the esophagus by swallowing or deglutition the bolus further passes through the esophagus by successive waves of muscular contractions called peristalsis the saliva secreted into the oral cavity contain electrolytes and enzymes salivary amylase and lysozyme the chemical process of digestion is initiated in the oral cavity by the hydrolytic action of carbohydrate splitting enzyme the salivary amylase about 30% of starch is hydrolyzed here by this enzyme optimum ph 6.8 in to a disaccharide maltose lysozyme present in saliva acts as an antibacterial agent that prevent infections starch plus salivary amylase plus ph 6.8 gives maltose the mucosa of stomach has gastric glands gastric glands have three major type of cells namely mucus neck cell which secrete mucus peptic or chief cell which secrete proenzyme pepsinogen and oxyntic cell which secrete hcl and intrinsic factor 
month stores the food for 4 to 5 hours. The food mixes thoroughly with the acidic gastric juice of the stomach by the curling movements of its muscular wall and it's called the chyme. The proenzyme pepsinogen on exposure the hydrochloric acid get converted into the active enzyme pepsin. The proteolytic enzyme of the stomach. Pepsin convert proteins into proteoses and peptones the mucus and bicarbonates present in the gastric juice play an important role in lubrication and protection of the mucosal epithelium from excoriation by highly concentrated hydrochloric acid hcl provide the acidic ph 1.8 optimal for pepsin Renin is a proteolytic enzyme found in gastric juice in infants which help in the digestion of milk proteins. Small amount of lipases are also secreted by gastric glands. Various type of movements are generated by the muscularis layer of the small intestine. These movements help in through mixing up of the food with various secretions in the intestine and thereby facilitated digestion the bile pancreatic juice and the intestinal juice are are the secretions released into the small intestine pancreatic juice and bile are released through the hepatopancreatic duct pancreatic juice contain inactive enzymes trypsinogen chymotrypsinogen procarboxy peptidases amylases lipases and nucleases trypsinogen is activated by an enzyme enterokinase secreted by intestinal mucosa into active trypsin which in turn activates the other enzyme in the pancreatic juice bile released into the duodenum contains bile pigments bile salts cholesterol and phospholipids but no enzymes bile help in emulsification of fat that is breakdown of the fat into very small micelles bile also activate lipases The intestinal mucosal epithelium has goblet cell which secrete mucus. The secretions of brush bordered cell of the mucosa along with the secretions of the goblet cells constitute the intestinal juice or sexes entering this. This juice contains a variety of enzymes like disaccharides dipeptidases lipases nucleosidases etc the mucus along with the bicarbonates from the pancreas protects the intestinal mucus from as, as well as provide an alkaline medium for enzyme activities submucosal gland also help in this proteins proteoses and peptones in the chyme reaching the intestine are acted upon by the proteolytic enzymes of pancreatic juice